Believe it or not, when anyone sees stars sneezing or not that is actually a very minor brain concussion. You see stars when your head is moving fast and stops suddenly. Because your brain is, in basic terms, floating in a liquid inside your skull, your brain doesn't stop when you stop moving your head. Instead, it slams into the wall of your skull. It is recommended that when you sneeze, try not to jerk your head as much, if you are able to move your brain less, you will most likely not see stars anymore. It's not an illusion, there really are tiny sparks of light inside your eyeballs. In fact, the cells in your eyes are constantly emitting light called biophotons. That's because, like everything, your eyes are made of atoms, and atoms contain elementary particles that transmit light. Typically, your brain simply ignores these distracting flashes, but when you rub your eyes, stand up too fast, or sneeze hard, the pressure creates too many biophotons for your brain to handle, and they become visible for a brief second. Technically, these are called phosphenes, but we know this occurrence is seeing stars. Phosphenes have been created by electrical stimulation of the brain, reported by neurologist Otfred Forster as early as 1929. Brindley and Lewin inserted a matrix of stimulating electrodes directly into the visual cortex of a 52-year-old blind female, using small pulses of electricity to create phosphenes. These phosphenes were points, spots, and bars of colorless or colored light. Brindley and Rushton used the phosphenes to create a visual prosthesis, in this case by using the phosphenes to depict braille spots. In recent years, researchers have successfully developed an experimental brain-computer interfaces or neuroprostheses that stimulate phosphenes to restore vision to people blinded through accidents. Notable successes include the human experiments by William H. Doble and Mark Humayun and animal research by Dick Norman. A non-invasive technique that uses electrodes on the scalp, transcranial magnetic stimulation, has also been shown to produce phosphenes. Experiments with humans have shown that when the visual cortex is stimulated above the calcarine fissure, phosphenes are produced in the lower part of the visual field, and vice versa. Seeing stars may occur more often with age. However, seeing flashes frequently can indicate an eye problem that needs medical treatment. If a person experiences a rapid onset of flashes, stars, or any other sudden vision changes, they should seek medical care right away. However for most of the cases, these stars die off as soon as your brain recovers from a sudden shake of head. So, as long as you are not seeing them anymore, you are fine. Thank you for watching this video, see you next time on the next one. Like and subscribe would be incredible.